Okay, so today's pet spotlight will be on crows. Crows are very good tier 2 pets. Uh, so good, in fact. I was actually, when I was putting together my tier 1 list like a couple months ago when I made that video, I actually considered putting crows on it just because they're so good, but I ended up not doing it just because uh, there's this one pet who basically does what crows does, but better but it's kind of hard to get. Let me take a look at it right here. Dread Hatchling. Dread Hatchling I did put on the list and I excluded crows. Uh, Dread Hatchling in order to get this co uh, not card, this pet, you need the Warlords of Draenor. It's Collector Edition. It's a tier one pet because it's a power power type with the thing crows can do, which is called Darkness and Nocturnal Strike Combo. Only crows can actually do this. Not the only pets who actually know Nocturnal Strike, but they're the only ones that actually put out a blind as well as use the blind with Nocturnal Strike. Uh, Dread Hatchling is better, I don't have it though, but I would actually kind of love to have one. Uh, but not enough to actually pay for the Collector's Edition. So, yeah, crows do just as fine if they're not as good. Just, only reason they're not, I didn't put them tier 1 just because the Dread Hatchling hits harder. Because he's a has an inflated power value. He's a little bit stronger than normal power power types, while the crow I have right here is the hardest hitting crow you can get with only 289 attack. And considering crows are all about hitting as hard as possible, it's not its not the greatest. 289, it, it, I would like it if it was over 300, but they still hit so damn hard it's not really that big a deal. Alright, so. Uh, of the crows, how do you get them? Well, crows you just get them in random pet battles during the Dark Moon Fair. Uh, just go to the Dark Moon Fair and explore the area, do random pet battles, and you're fine crows. Just keep going until you find pretty much any of them. All the breeds are fine. Uh, SS is is probably a good one, but I like to have ones that hit as hard as possible while still having some speed after their uh, racial is gone when they go below 50% health. So I, I prefer the power speed breed, but really any of the breeds are fine considering none of them are power power, which is what you would really want. Uh, arguments can be made for SS because it'll still be fast as shit once it goes below 50% health, but I mean, and it doesn't really hit that much less. I was actually thinking about getting an SS one next time the Dark Moon Fair comes around. When does the Dark Moon Fair come back around? Oh, it comes in a couple of weeks. Uh, oh well. Anyways, uh, yeah, you get one of those from the Dark Moon Fair, or if you want to get a crow outside of the Dark Moon Fair. You can grab the Gildane Raven. Gildane Raven only has the Balance Balance breed available to it. Because uh, all the other breeds used to be something like when Mist first came out, you couldn't get the other breeds, but now it's always Balance Balance. So if you can find a Gildane Raven of a different breed than Balance Balance, which is the worst breed, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> They're really hard to find on the auction house. Of course, they, it has the same exact breeds as uh, just the crow from the Dark Moon Fair, except you can only get the Balance Balance one. I don't really like this one. Uh, it's still perfectly serviceable though, because he does pretty much the exact same thing. His stats are just a little bit lower, but his stats are good enough to do what I have this crow do. It's just, I like this one because he gets a little bit harder. Gilnay and Raven, you can obtain through either buying it from the auction house or creating a worgen and just going to the pet vendor and buying one. Uh, the pet vendor, of course, the one you find in, like, Stormwind, I think. I remember I specifically leveled up a Worgen Alliance character just so I could buy a crow. Because I didn't want to wait for the Dark Moon Fair to come around. That's how I got my Gilnay and Raven. It's really good. It's pretty much just as good as I think this one's a little bit better because they have the same abilities. Uh, except for one ability. The Gilnay and Raven has this ability called Nevermore. It's the only silence in the game, and I've never actually used it. There's no reason to use it. Nevermore, uh, your opponent's next ability becomes unusable for five rounds. So you can use that on your opponent if you can predict something uh, that you don't want them to use anymore. It has a 10 round cooldown. Uh, it could be situationally useful, but I mean, he's already got another really good ability on this tier. Okay, maybe I should talk about why crows are good. Crows, like I said earlier, can use the Nocturnal Strike combo. Nocturnal Strike is a really hard-hitting single-target ability that only has a 50% chance to hit. But if the target is blinded, you get a 100% chance to hit. Uh, Call Darkness 
is a weather effect which uh, treats all pets as blinded and reduces healing by 50% which is actually pretty good for, against a lot of teams uh, not a lot against some teams there's a lot of teams that heal in the in the meta but none of them are really all that great all right anyway so since nocturnal strike does a whole bunch of single target damage uh, the weather effect that you need to use first in order to use nocturnal strike effectively also hits really hard. It has a 5 turn cooldown. It doesn't hit as hard as Nocturnal Strike, but it still hits for about 650 damage, which is quite a bit. So just hitting with Call Darkness and Nocturnal Strike, it's going to be enough to kill squishy pets and just do a crap ton of damage to everything else. And since crows are fast, you will be able just to finish them off with the Noc uh, an Alpha Strike right after that. Alpha Strike does extra damage if you go first. Since you're a flying type, you should be going first unless you're going against other flying types. Which you don't really see very often outside of Darkness teams, which is, you know, used with the crow. So, uh, you only get outsped if you're going against, like, other crows, or if your opponent just has a random flying type pet in their team. Uh, you could also take Peck. Peck's fine, too. Alpha Strike does more damage. It's also not as good against shell armored type of pets. Since it does its damage kind of split, its upfront damage is kind of weak, and the secondary damage is also kind of weak, but when you put them together, it's way more than a peck. Uh, plus, you have to be fast in order to actually get the full advantage. So, I mean, there is some risk with Alpha Strike, but usually you want to take this, because once they go up 50% health, they're going to die very soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, yeah, you should never really take his other abilities, because... I mean, Murder is fine, it's like a stampede basically, but I mean, Nocturnal Strike's better. And Squawk is kind of a bad ability, and Call to Darkness is just way better. The only one you actually have a choice on is either Pack or Alpha Strike, there can be a case made for both of those. The other ones, you're basically just taking Call to Darkness and Nocturnal Strike, if you're going to use a Crow. Alright, and that should go over uh, why the Crow's good. It just hits really damn hard, and since it's a flying type, it goes first. So you could be able to kill your opponent's pet while only taking two damage, two attacks. If, for example, you're going against another pet who isn't a mechanical or undead, uh, and they don't have some kind of a way to block your abilities with like a decoy. So say you're going against a jungle beak. You hit him with the Call Darkness, Nocturnal Strike, and they're at about like 100 health or something. Then you outspeed them and go with like Alpha Strike to finish them off. Uh, since they die during that turn, you don't get hit. So you basically kill pets that aren't uh, undeads or mechanicals in three turns while only getting hit two times in return. And those two times get hit in return, you should still be uh, above 50% health. So you should be able to get off a couple Alpha Strikes or just switch out into your other pets depending on what he's in. Alright, and now I'll do something new for these, uh, whatchamacallit, Pet Spotlight videos and actually show the pet in action since that was requested. Alright, what a beautiful matchup for my crows. I'm going to start off with my favorite crow, Zephros. And, oh, I know what he's doing. Alright, so we go Call Darkness and then Nocturnal Strike. Let's see how much damage this does. An undead pet is something you don't really want to go against on a crow. And let's see if I can kill him with the last one. He has a little bit higher health than a normal pet should. And I missed my alpha strike. Uh, that's fine. This happens <laughs> quite a bit with darkness teams. Darkness teams are kind of annoying to go against and to play with because you do have a 10% chance to miss. Even your nocturnal strike has a 10% chance to miss. Oh, almost. Okay, now with the three abilities actually hitting him. Uh, let's see, if I hadn't missed the other Alpha Strike... Well, I mean, I did miss it, so... Whatever. I'm just gonna go into Steve real quick. I'll kill him with an Alpha Strike, and then I'll just use a decoy. Oh, <laughs> I missed again. <laughs> oh, Darkness teams. How I love you. <laughs> just kidding, I don't. I really don't like Arcus teams. They're fun to play sometimes, when you don't get unlucky and miss abilities all the time like that. Alright, uh, Decoy is literally useless against the Macro Bay Marionette. Macabre, I mean. Uh, Aqua Killer should come out. His speed at 2 something something, he should be fine. Crap, we got ourselves the Vengeful Porcupet. 
Alright, I'm just gonna do a switch out right now. I don't have a good matchup against him. Which is kind of a pain. Whatever, I'm just gonna throw out a decoy right now to block his power ball, I guess. And then he'll be outspeeding me as soon as my uh, racial goes away. Yeah, it's gonna get destroyed by that. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a haywire now that Spirit Spikes is gone to do some really nice damage to his Vengeful Porky Pet. I'm gonna go below 50% health now, plus I think he should be faster than me. Uh, Steve isn't very fast. <laughs> Steve is probably gonna kick the bucket right here. And yeah, I could switch him out. Or I could just let Aqua Killer finish off the Vengeful Porky Pet with an Alpha Strike, unless he decides to switch out. If he decides to switch out, he's gonna take a lot of damage from the Alpha Strike. Which actually is fine for me. If he had just gone for one more power ball. No, he would need to go for two more power balls to outspeed my my bird. Cool, cool. Alright, so we got the puddle terror. Uh, he does he probably has sunlight. And oh no, he has clobber. Okay, that's fine. There are two viable builds for the puddle terror, so that's why I was kinda like. I don't really know what he has or not. You could either go Sunlight and Nature's Ward, where you have lots of heals, or Clobber and Dive, which is totally a legitimate choice. Oh, come on, Aqua Killer, get the kill. No, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that's Darkness Teams for you. Oh, well, that's fine. It, it showed off what my team does. It doesn't do very well against uh, uh, Undeads or Mechanicals because of their ability to go immune for a turn. Plus, he had an undead, which also countered my my one pet in here. He was supposed to deal with the problem child, the mechanical axe beak. But you got to see how what the crows do. Uh, all the pets on my opponent's team. Let's see, what did he have? He had a ventral porky pet, which is tier one, which I beat with little problem. He had a macabre marionette, which is a really good tier two pet, which gave me lots of problems. And then his puddle terror which he decided to go with his stun and die version was able to take me out because I missed under darkness. Uh, yeah, so I just, I lost to some bad luck. But I mean, that's that's what happens with Crow sometimes. <laughs> you miss sometimes, you know, I, I missed three times, he missed once, it happens, that's pet battling for you.